Good day everyone and welcome to Slush Mining. Hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Today we're going to talk about three mid-range graphics cards used for mining. The budget for the cards are 28,000 Rand or $1,900. And for that price we can get three RTX 2060s. These are the 6 gig versions. Or we can get two RTX 3060 Ti LHR versions or two RX 6700 XTs. We're going to look at mining Ethereum specifically and see what other algorithms these cards can mine. Ethereum mining is not going to be around much longer. So do we keep on buying graphics cards for Ethereum or do we concentrate on core algorithms that we can mine? Let's get into it. Just to confirm the pricing of the graphics cards we chose, the EVGA RTX 2060, which is going for 8,200, we will be buying three of these. We've got the RTX 3060 Ti, which is at 12,200. And the other card that we will be comparing is the XFX RX 6700 XT. In my previous video, you'll notice that there was a price change as well. The RTX 3060 Ti was at 12,999. It has come down by 800 Rand. And the RX 6700 XT was at 12,999. It has gone up by 800 Rand. One thing I wanted to take note of is the savings on each card. The savings are not always right and very inflated. This card went up, but your saving is 3,900. That is kind of false advertising. So do your research when buying graphics cards and just follow up on prices. This one went down by 800 and your saving is 3,300, which is not fair to the consumer. But that I will leave for another video. Before we get into the discussions of these graphics cards, let's just take a look at the price of Bitcoin, Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. Bitcoin is trading at $42,579. Ethereum is at $2,870. And Ethereum Classic is trading at $52.95. In my previous video, I discussed quite a few graphics cards, buying them new, looking at what algorithms they mine, the hash rate power consumption, and their profitability for day, month, and year, as well as the ROI, how many days it will take, and how many months it will take to ROI your graphics cards. So in our diagram, you can see that if we buy three RTX 2060 6 gig graphics cards, it would cost 25,500 Rand or $1,741. I have converted the profitability and the price of the cards into USD to compare the prices of graphics cards around the world. Three RTX 2060 graphics cards will mine at 108 mega hash at 360 watts. That is about 36 mega hash per card. It does generate about $7.23 a day. And it will take about 8 months to ROI. These figures are at current profitability. If we buy two of them, they are about 24,398 Rand or $1,665. With Ethereum, they mine at 66 mega hash at 240 watts which gives you a profitability of $4.32. It does take 13 months to ROI at this rate. And if we buy two RX 6700 XTs, which will cost just under 28,000 Rand, or just under $1,900, generates about 96 mega hash per second at 280 watts. The profitability per day is $6.62. And as you can see, your return on investment is 9 months, or 285 days. The reason I compared these three graphics cards is that they're more or less in the same price range. 
and I chose the RTX 2060 to show you how an older card compares to new cards. The RTX 2060 is cheaper and you do get 3 cards instead of 2. And the ROI is actually the least. So you get your return on investment a lot quicker than the other cards. But this is mining Ethereum. And as you know, Ethereum version 2 will come into play next year. So we won't be able to mine Ethereum for much longer. So what if we put the RTX 2066 gig on Ethereum, because it's quite profitable, and it takes 8 months to ROI, and we leave the RTX 6700s on Ethereum as well, it takes 9 months to ROI. What if we take the RTX 3060 Ti, the LHR version, and we put it on the most profitable coin? How profitable will it be to mine with LHR cards? Okay, as you can see, we put the RTX 3060 Ti LHR versions on Ergo. They mine at 310 megahertz per second and 240 watts. And you'll notice that the profitability per day is $10.69. Our ROI is at 5 months. So do we still buy graphics cards to mine Ethereum? Or do we prepare our mining rigs for core algorithms? This is a very good comparison at the same price range. And these are at current profitabilities. Let's go to what to mine and see what these figures are actually. Just so that you know that these are just not figures and it's actual profitability that you can get with these cards. So we're going to take two RTX 3060 Ti's minus the Ethereum. We do use 20 cents per kilowatt. Let's calculate and see what our profitability is. And as you can see, Ergo is the most profitable coin at the moment. And after electricity, you come out with $10.35 profit. Which is actually not bad for a card that doesn't mine Ethereum. The next coin that you can mine is, or the most profitable coin to mine, is Ravencoin. And you're looking at $6.74. This is not a bad mining profitability compared to other cards that can mine Ethereum. What do you think of these mid-range graphics cards mining Ethereum and other algorithms? Leave a comment down below to let me know what you think and what cards you would actually buy for core algorithm mining. Hope you found this video informative and insightful. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. Make sure you join our Discord channel, which is in the description below as well. Please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Ciao for now.